Hello there, it's Tim again from T&J Coal at Fairham. Uh, just a little update video on wood burning stoves we've got in the showroom. So this is the lovely Chesney's Salisbury 6 kilowatt. This is their 8 series wood burner. Uh, nice thing about this, it's got one air control, so it's really easy to use. If you have got a stove, I think it's always important to have a little thermometer, so you know what's going on in the stove. So you need to keep it at the right operating temperature for everything to burn nicely. So now that's getting up to temperature, we can just turn it down. Turn it down a bit and it'll just tick over nicely. So that's a really nice looking fire there burning away. So that's the Chesney's Salisbury 6. Next to that, we have got the Chesney's Salisbury 5. So that's a five kilowatt wood burner. Then we have from Stovax the Chesterfield 5. Again, that's a wood burner, that's got the handle on the side. One air control, nice and easy to use. Uh, this is the updated version of uh, Stovax's Huntington 30. Again, this is just a wood burner, handle on the side, lovely big window. Uh, it's a nice big stove and that is just a five kilowatt stove again, so that's nice. If you're looking for something a little bit different, this is another one from Stovax. So this is a Stovax Studio 2 Air. This is sat on a bench. To raise it up, we're gonna to have to have a bench if you don't want to. Uh, they do do a five kilowatt one, uh, a Studio 1. This is the two, which is a seven kilowatt one. That's got a really nice big window, nice big logs. And you can open it up. Massive, great area to have a good fire in. It's also got these uh, little trims on the side here, so you can have them either just in a matching black or a silver, to make it a bit two tone. So that's the Studio Air. Next to that, another one from Stovax. We've got the Futura 5. Again, this is the wood burning version of it. Nice big window, five kilowatt stove, just one air control, nice big viewing window. Uh, so again, that's another new one that's just come out uh, recently this year. Uh, what else have we got? This is uh, a smaller stove. This is the, the Flipper Flame Small. Uh, so again, it's got one air control, wood burner, uh, nice big window for the size of the stove. Uh, so that's the that's uh, 4.9 kilowatt, that one. What else have we got on display? So that's the Peanut Big Nut 5. Again, that's a 5 kilowatt one. Uh, this one's a little bit of an odd one. So this is the uh, Apple, the Baked Apple Stack. So again, you can have different sections on it so you can lose the top bit or the bottom bit. Um, we've got the side uh, on it. Then you can have it all black or different sort of colors. Uh, and we could put that in a home. It's more for sort of lodges, man caves, things like that. Uh, this is another one from Flipper Flame. This is the medium one. Again, it's just got one air control. Uh, five kilowatt output, 85% efficient. Uh, really nice big window for the size of the stove again. Then we have the Flipper Flame Large. This is the, the biggest out of the three Flipper Flames. Again, this has got a really nice big window for the size of the stove. Just one air control, wood burner, five kilowatt output. Uh, a nice, so they all work the same, got a nice handle. Nice handle mechanism, a nice big burn area to burn your wood in. Just a nice handle to use on that one and one air control. What else have we got on display? We have got, again, from Chesney's, that's the Beaumont 5. So that's a five kilowatt wood burner. I've got its bigger brother over here. That's uh, in the autumn leaf color. Again, five kilo, uh, that's a six kilowatt wood burner, the bigger one there. Uh, what else have we got on display? Wood burning stoves. So that's all the sort of freestanding stoves. Uh, oh, the little stocks on five there. Again, that's a wood burner. 
so they're, they're all the freestanding stoves. And obviously you can have a wood burner, which uh, fits into a fireplace. So it does exactly the same as the freestanding ones. Uh, it just fits into a fireplace. Uh, so it looks a bit more conventional, but it does exactly the same job, exactly the same efficiency, exactly the same output. And this one here, this is a new one from Stovax. Uh, so this is the recently updated version of the Reva. So this is the Reva 250. This is a wood burner. Uh, and the nice thing about this one, they've made this a five kilowatt stove. So you've got a nice big window, nice big burn area, five kilowatt output. Um, so generally, as long as the house isn't a, a, a modern air sealed house, uh, then you don't need to have an air vent with it. So this has got the, the new style handle, nice big burn area to burn your logs, five kilowatt output. They do do other sizes in that, so they do, I'll just show you that. So we've got the 50, but they do some other, other models there as well. Uh, and with that one, if you are burning it, burning the fire, you can just take the handle off so it doesn't get hot while you're using it. Pop that on the side, then when you go to use the stove, it just slips in the hole there. And then you can open the stove so your handle stays cool to touch. What else have we got? We have got, if you're gonna go, if you just wanna swap over a 16 inch gas fire for a wood burner, then we've got the uh, Contura i4. So that fits a standard British standard fireplace opening, which is sort of 16 to 18 inches wide by 22 inches high. Uh, so that fits straight into a standard fireplace opening as long as your fireplace is compatible for a wood burner. Uh, the other one we've got as a concept sort of style wood burner uh, is from Barbus. So this is the Unilux 52. We've got it with a classic frame. These are really nice bits of kit. This is a um, seven kilowatt output stove. So this one, the handle sort of hidden in here and just pops open like that. Nice roller ball door. Again, designated wood burner. Really nice, thick, substantial metal. Everything's all made out of. Nice roller ball action on the door. Comes with a little tool uh, like this. So, so when you're using it, uh, that just pops in the handle there to keep you away from the door to open it and close it. And then you can spin it round and then there's a little lever in here and you can just use that to knock the air control up and down. Uh, so generally we tend to fit these type of fires in what I would class a modern home. Uh, so a modern home is the one with a flat wall in the living room uh, and the chimney's external because these ones don't generally have big openings so you can knock out the big openings for the freestanding stoves so when sort of sizes in the chimney are constrained this type of system works out a lot better uh, and then the other type of stove we've got are the more Scandinavian looking freestanding stoves we tend to fit these more we do do with people who've got chimneys we tend to fit these more um, when people don't have chimneys and then we just run the flues the two more flues off them so here we've got the 510 style. Again, these are five kilowatt stoves. Uh, and then these ones, the handles are concealed here. So the door swings open like that and you've got a nice big burn area for the stoves, uh, for the stoves, for your wood. So with these, we've got the 510 style in black. I've got the 510 style in cream. I've uh, got the popular 810 style. This was uh, recently updated last year, so they've made the glass longer in it, so you've got a bigger, bigger window to see the flame effect. Uh, then we've got a 510 style in the silver as well. Uh, we have got a Contura uh, 51L, which is always quite a nice uh, compact stove. So that's all the, the freestanding stoves. That's the, the main stoves that we tend to sell, Stovax, Barbus, Chesney's, and Contura. So I'll just run back to the one that's working over here again. So I have got a Contura live working in the showroom, and we have got 
obviously the Chesney's one here. So as long as uh, you've got nice dry wood when it's burning, it'll look like that when it's burning away. And that's a nice happy looking fire. Um, and yeah, one thing's having a nice appliance, but the other thing is making sure your wood's nice and dry, the moisture content less than 20%. And you'll always have a nice fire every time you light it. If you ever have a bad experience with a fire, people blame the stove, but out of experience, it's it's always wet wood. If you're burning wet wood, all the moisture comes out of the wood, puts the fire out, so the stove never gets up to temperature, it blackens up and doesn't throw any heat out. So it's really, really important to make sure your logs are nicely dried out. Burning wet wood, one doesn't give you any heat and makes your stove just a horrible mess. So yeah, really make sure that your wood's nicely seasoned. I always recommend getting too much, so you've always got it around the side of the house for at least a year, so you're in control of your wood, knowing that it's nicely dried out. But thanks for watching, this is T&J Cole at Fairham.